Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're on this 248. We're kind of skirting along I-90. We just left that 1880 Western Town. Wasn't that cool? Seeing all them old buildings. I mean, that was a completely set up Western Town from the 1800s. They use it for movie sets. Anyway, just got a few miles. We're going to go up here. We're heading up towards the Badlands National Park, but there's some more stuff we could stop and see. Here's a little abandoned, whatever, crossroads. <laughs> We're going to keep going straight. We're cutting through farmland. There's a little town up here called Kadoka. It's supposed to have some statues in it, some artwork. So that's our goal right now. Then after that, there's a national site for Minuteman missiles, where you can actually see a real missile in a silo. They created a national monument over that stuff. So we're going to check that out too. Okay, I believe this is Kadoka, South Dakota. It's kind of cool that this road just kind of skirts right along uh, I-90. You can go slow, enjoy the scenery instead of getting on that good old interstate fighting traffic it's supposed to be a pretty good size RV park here and gas station and some motels I think that's all that's here and those statues we'll find them I see them right off to the right actually we'll get back on this road we'll go straight there let's stop right there's the statues Gotta see this stuff. When's the next time you're gonna be through here? South Dakota just keeps giving and giving for kind of cool, old, neat stuff to see. <laughs> I mean, it is everywhere. Look at this, it's a truck stop. With what? Metal statues. <laughs> Let's take a look at them. Wow, look at that effort. Look at the amount of welding. I mean, those are just all metal pieces, tools. It's got a headlight sitting on top of an old car. Look at this thing. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that? Rusted. Scrappy, it's named Scrappy. Rusted artwork. That's cool. How'd you like to have that in your front yard? Now look at these things. I don't think these are real. They got metal sticking out of them. You know what? I think those are made like out of plaster or concrete. Those aren't real. See the metal frame sticking out of it? I'll be darned. They look real, but they're not. Just to move one of those, that has to weigh a ton. Tons. <laughs> Many of them. We can feel the heat picking up today. It's going to be a hot one. That's pretty good. They can make uh It's got to be like a concrete. That's solid. I'll be darn. Cool. All right. Well, say goodbye to Scrappy here. <laughs> Perfect name, isn't it? Old junkyard made into a 
big old deer. Cool. According to the map here, we're only about 15, 16 miles from that Minuteman National Monument site. So we'll go check that out. I know a lot of people prefer the interstate, not me. This must be the old highway way before they built I-90. Okay, let's do it. Look at the size of this thing. I think it will run you over. Goodness. I pulled off for a minute. There's been about, I don't know, this must be like the eighth or ninth one. Like a parade. <laughs> no other traffic here, just these big tractors. Look how they have tracks on them, track drive. Okay, here we are, made it. There's an RV park off to the left and a gas station. This is actually Highway 240. It'll loop through the Badlands, but we're not going to Badlands yet. We're going to check out this national site for Minuteman. Then we'll go through Badlands. Must be that building right there. Cool. I found this uh, this when I was researching uh, different routes. Looks open to me. Run by the government. There's supposed to be a couple sites that I can drive up. We'll have to get on the interstate for a few miles. You can actually see a silo with a missile in it. Okay, here we are. That's quite a building. Boy, they got a huge parking lot. Very RV friendly. I can pull semis in here. It's kind of like rusted metal on that building. Good old government. Alright, well, let's go in and check her out. Historic site. Imagine back in the day when the government come in and you're cornfield and said, hey, we're going to put in a missile. <laughs> oh, man. But, that was part of the error that was a long time ago. But they still got them. I know in Montana they got them big ones up there. Okay. We're going in. Morning. Right, Great Plains Ground Zero. Wonder how many of these they had through here. The nation's nuclear defense. What else they got? Wow, I like that eagle up there, huh? My goodness. November 1989. Tear down that wall. History. People keep forgetting about history. This is part of it. 
And it's good they save this stuff. Cool. Alright. Let's go back in here. They gotta have good stuff. Worldwide delivery in 30 minutes or less. <laughs> look, they look made it look like a pizza box. I bet. Launch control. That's how they used to live. They lived down underneath the ground. Because them things are deep. I've seen videos of people that have uh, made homes out of them. The old abandoned ones. I'll be darned. Missile fields. Look at them things. Geiger counter for radiation. Wow. Pretty powerful. You don't think about this stuff when you're driving down I-90 heading to Rapid City or Sturgis. <laughs> Look at them things. Shows you what we have for our defenses. Split second decisions, man. Thank goodness they didn't never launch them. And they got little movies playing. What went on back in them days? What else we got? Pretty good artwork. When I was a kid in school, we used to have drills for this stuff. Matter of fact, that looks like the TV I had when I was a kid. <laughs> oh boy. Look at this. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm going to find out where those uh, sites are, and then we'll drive up to them. Well, it's just uh, three, four miles up the road. The launch building, you cannot go inside, but there's a display up there, like a kiosk, storyboards. And then a little few miles past that is an actual site that still has a missile in it, disarmed, that's set up for uh, visitors. There's actually a National Park Ranger up there. They'll talk about it. So we're going to go find that. Instead of taking the back roads, we're going to just take uh, I-90. It's not very far. Then I'll come back down to this 240. Also, I found out in there I didn't know about. There's a Prairie Homestead up the road here that I'm probably going to check out. All kinds of neat stuff. And if you look around, it looks like nothing's here. <laughs> We're finding it. This is the exit. Is it take this one? Yep, 127. Make a right and then it turns into a gravel road and we're there. This is it. Then the other site, just a few miles up the road too. That'll be the one that actually has the missile down in it. Cool. That must be the launch building. 
they give they used to give tours of the inside of it but now it's only for groups look at all that hamburger there my goodness that's a lot of cows and it's by appointments and groups plus he said with COVID it kind of screwed everything up but that was launch control for some of the missiles here Now it's just uh, like a museum. Pretty cool. Delta 01 launch control. Ticketed tours, yeah, but they don't have them now. <laughs> There's the missile. That shows the underground bunker underneath the building. Wow, look at all those silos. Look how many. Some are still active. Look at all them things. Oh, man. Front lines of the Cold War. Wow. And there's the underground bunker. Looks like a house up there, but underneath it was a whole big facility. Pretty interesting. Well, let's head up the road and find that uh, silo. Alright, here it is. It's a little farther up than I thought. This is exit 116. But not that far. Looks like it's off to the left. We'll have to make a left up here. It's really heating up today. It's got to be in the mid 90s here. Not much wind. At least we got a little blue sky, not that much fire smoke. Here it is. You wouldn't even know what this thing was. Out in the middle of these huge farm fields. Ha! Huh. Bunch of cows. Farmers doing their thing around the fields. And you got missile silos all over it. That map was impressive how many of these things were around here. Look at that restrooms, and there it is out there. We gotta take a walk. What's the sign say? Minuteman National Historic Site. Delta 9. Interesting. Wonder how many missiles one launch facility controlled. Wow, look how deep that thing is. What an effort to construct that. My goodness. There it is. Well, we're supposed to be able to see one. Okay. Got a little bit of a walk. I see a few people out there. What's this say? 
Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, this thing still looks maintained. Of course, it's a national park thing now. Still got the fence up. Let's go on in. Probably absolutely everything's underground. All their electrical, ventilation. Look, there's the hatch that slides open. When they launch it. So right when they got to the gate, they would call Delta One if this was the site back in the day and say this is trip whatever Surgeon Johnson plus three. Two set cards is assistant mm -hmm. team chief and him or he would be and then they would call the capsule crew and say, yeah, trip so-and-so is out there at Delta 9. And then the capsule crew would say, okay, let them go on. And then once they opened that gate up and came within a certain area, if the alarm wasn't already on or there wasn't a camera team sitting on site, um, the alarm would go off and then the maintenance, maintenance team would have to go in. Oh, for us, the reason why it's that way is our superintendent years back uh, when they put the sign where it is, is because there's no way. We want people to come here that are really have an interest in this and want to see it and not just anybody that just leaves. Oh, well, let's go see that. And this summer has almost been that way because not just not in a bad way, um, in a good way. There it is. Big missile. Wow, huh? Pretty cool you can even see this stuff. All right, well, cool little visit. I gotta head back. We're gonna backtrack. I wanna go find that uh, prairie homestead. The journey continues. Talk soon.